Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today's Wednesday, October 14th. Uh, another really nice day of uh, trading this morning, plus $1,460.25. So a little over $1,400 in profits. Uh, took a runner in micro 6B, the British pound. Uh, was up uh, quite a bit more, but came all the way back. Ended up basically taking almost a scratch on the trade. Those are super small. So, uh, I mean, I was trading five contracts. I think I was up like 60 bucks at one point was the most. So just kind of still testing these micros. Um, did a uh, did a pairs trade later in the morning with gold and silver. Uh, net profit on that, $280. Um, so nice, nice little pairs trading gold silver there. Uh, I was short silver and long gold. I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, nice little runner in the NASDAQ, uh, scratched a runner in oil, uh, nice, uh, mighty 90 trade in Apple for 305. My biggest winner, Amazon, uh, plus $1,215 on a runner, uh, a little loser on a runner in Boeing. A nice mighty 90 winner in Disney for 191. Intel, a little loser on a runner. Uh, MU, nice mighty 90 winner for 263. Scratched a runner in Nikola. Uh, loser in uh, Roku. Loser in Tesla. And loser in Zoom. Let's check these out. All right, so 6B, let's take a look at that first. Um, we uh, This was our first trade we took. We had this big push up. Uh, in the morning and then started consolidating above this pivot. And so we got long right here. Great timing, great execution, everything, and and rode it all the way up and scaled out. Uh, the problem is it came all the way back down. I actually uh, started adding to it again here. And, and then as soon as it kind of pushed below the lows of where we initially got in, I just, I just got out and scratched it. So um, again, these are super tiny contracts. So, I mean, we were, we were talking pretty minimal, uh, profit and risk overall, but again, you know, kind of a nice move there that we were that we were looking for. Uh, pairs trade in gold and silver. So what I was looking at in gold and silver, I was kind of watching it all morning. Uh, silver on a relative on a percentage basis was, has been stronger than gold all day, uh, but the price action in gold looked much stronger. And, and finally, when we got to this point here, I went long gold and short silver. And when this flush happened, the flush in silver was much greater. And so booked a nice profit on that pairs trade. Uh, oil took a little, tried to take a little runner to the upside in oil, got in about right here and had some profits here. And then it came all the way back and started chopping around and, and um, it was getting close to noon when I just wanted to be away from the screens anyway. So I just basically scratched it, booked a little $12.50. Uh, Apple, nice mighty mighty 90 winner in Apple. Initially had this big push up. When it pulled back, we got long here. Had a big spike, quick spike, took off some quick profits. It came back down. We added here and here and then got this nice bounce uh, and got out uh, in this area here. So really nice uh, exit before the market flushed lower as well. So good trade in Apple. Amazon was my biggest winner. Uh, it was just looking weak all morning, all morning. And then when it had this bounce, uh, right here at this pivot, we got short and I rode this thing all the way down, basically to the lows of the day. So right there, uh, for a nice, uh, $1,215 winner there. Boeing, I tried to take a, an upside runner in Boeing had this big initial push when it came back down here. Um, I got in some right here and I added to it when I got the pivot and then I got kind of flushed out. So um, just took a loss, a little loss on that one. Disney, uh, let's see, what did I do in Disney? I did some, uh, I did a short trade. Oh yeah, so Disney had this initial flush lower on this bounce, uh, cut a mighty 90 trade and it flushed lower and wrote it down to about this area here, started chopping sideways and I just got out of the rest. So booked a nice $191 winner there. Intel tried to take a, a short runner here after this big flush down. It was chopping around under, uh, you know, under in negative territory for the day. So I thought we were going to continue lower, ended up getting flushed out, took a small $60 loser on that. And then MU, another nice uh, mighty 90 winner this morning, uh, had this big push up, got short here and rode this thing down to about this area here and uh, and got out of that for a $263 winner. Nicola, I scratched a, uh, a runner in Nicola. 
uh, it had chopped around all morning in negative territory and I was looking for a uh, move lower. I got it, but the options, I, I sat in it so long that the had a little theta decay issue. Uh, and so when it bounced back up, I basically just scratched the trade. I was, I was looking to get off the screens anyway. Uh, Roku got me this morning for a little, for a little loser. Uh, and so we had this push lower started to bounce around. I got, I got in at this pivot and then this big push higher, uh, flushed me out and it immediately went, uh, ended up going in my direction. So Roku got me for one a head faked me out of the trade. That's okay. Uh, that happens sometimes. Um, Tesla, uh, Tesla was strong all day and I was looking for a point to get long. And when price came back down here, been down to the pivot, I was looking for a continuation to the upside, ended up rolling back over. So I just got out, took a loss there again, kind of nearing the end of the morning. So I just didn't want to, didn't want to battle it, uh, for too long. And then zoom was the last one. Zoom, zoom. Uh, I was looking for a, a short position here. It, it came down when it broke through the privet, pivot and then bounced back up. Uh, I, I got short, but it just continued up. And so I just I just cut my losses and got out of Zoom. But overall, good day, plus $1,460.25. So that's on a on, on the back of uh, over $1,700 yesterday. So good couple back-to-back -back days. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody in the live room tomorrow morning. If you guys have any questions, let me know.